On and on to the sewage set back in Fort Lauderdale. Raw sewage is being dumped again into the Tarpon River after yet another break in a line already under repair. Local 10 News reporter Louis Aguirre joining us live now from that break where crews are working nonstop at this hour to get this problem fixed. Louis. So, Calvin, the good news is that crews have actually managed to stop the sewage from spilling out into the streets. That being said, it is still spewing into the Tarpon River, and we're talking about millions of gallons of raw sewage that dumped into that river after the first break, and now it's happened again. As night fell, crews making progress on this, the second sewer main break in Fort Lauderdale's Rio Vista neighborhood in the past 10 days. We're concerned with the airborne quality, which we've heard nothing about. The second break happening in the wee hours Friday near Virginia Young Park off Southeast 10th Street and 9th Avenue, just north of the Tarpon River. It is the same pipe that burst December 10th, sending millions of gallons of raw sewage into the river and the surrounding neighborhood. You know, the idea that you're going to stop the flow and you're going to have the river revitalized in a few days is, is pure fantasy. How long is it going to take before the Tarpon River? Frustrated and worried residents meeting Friday night with District 4 City Commissioner Ben Sorensen and City Manager Chris Lagerbloom. They're frustrated, they're angry, I'm angry. It's unacceptable what's happening in the city. It's unacceptable uh, the neglect that's happened and we're taking what we were the hand we were given and working to improve it. By 8 p.m., crews had stabilized the area surrounding the break and the spillage was no longer flowing into the streets, but raw sewage continues to flow into the river. The best case scenario is pumping into the uh, River stops tonight and then putting in a new pipe in within a matter of a week. But there's no guarantee it won't happen again. Um, we're going to keep this one uh, functioning and we'll uh, monitor it and we'll, we'll keep the pressures low and, and we'll, uh, we'll keep it in service as we build, a, bi uh, build a, a redundant line and then we'll move over to it. So, yeah, that's the concern is that that redundant line can take months, if not longer, to build. And they're worried that this is just a, a temporary fix. That line is more than 50, year old, 50 years old, is ex extremely fragile, especially when you take into account all that salt water and all the sand that are corroding it. So while this fix may happen soon, there simply is no guarantee that another break won't soon happen again.